What's up? What's up? What's up? Rock and roll! Hey, Christy Lee. Hey, Princess Megan Elsa. Hey, Ron the Man. Hey, Jen. Hey, Melena. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, tonight's not going to be too long. Um, I didn't really plan to go live, but... So, FYI. I live very local to this case. Like, 20 minutes from where everything um, went down. And... I called, hey, Tammy's Clips. Is that Tammy? <laughs> What's up, girl? Do you have a channel? Oh, I have to check it out. Long time no see. Hey, Ellie. Let me turn my phone off. My phone's all loud. Hey, Linda. Hey, Ryan. So, I live like 20 minutes from all of this. Uh, where she lived. And uh, it's me. <laughs> so good to see you. Hey, Glenjamin. Well, I'm sure you know that, you know, I split when I made my own channel. <laughs> you know what I mean. So I'm going to put my glasses on. Why is my thing being stupid today? There we go. That works. Um, I know. It's been a while. Hey, Carrie. Uh, I, I'll probably wait a little bit. So and, and now I see Carrie and she remind me in reference to the Maya Maletti case. Um, I'm probably going to wait a little bit till uh, more of things like longer in the prelim and then just like recap everything. But, um, so this case, I am 20 minutes from where she lived and, uh, where she was found and Dave, um, my hubby, he does a lot of like driving around different areas and I called him today and he's like, oh yeah, I'm heading home from Royersford. And I was like, bing, 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 you're in Royersford. Well, I need you to go here. <laughs> They have five more witnesses hoping to be done by Friday or Monday. I've been, like, just sitting there waiting to see if this Jamie guy comes off. I just, I want to hear from him. I feel, when I hear, heard the story that um she was in the car with him and he, like, walked up on them. It makes me feel like maybe she was scared that he would hurt him and that's why she moved back home. That's what I made of it. Um. But I think they're doing a good job. And her lawyer, or I mean, his lawyer just infuriates me. She's like, <laughs> somebody in chat said, oh, like, like making a joke that like Lola needs a joint. And then someone was like, no, Lola needs a bump because she talks so slow. And like, I love cross examinations. Yeah, I need a break from Idaho too, for sure. I'm just like. So over it. Well, anyway, so uh, I told Hubby, I'm like, I need you before you come home to go like check out this place. And um, he was like, where? And I, I'm like, just look it up in your phone. He's like, oh, it's only. Hey, Sarah. I hope you're. Are you feeling better? I hope you are. Don't worry about modding and stuff. I know you're. You're crippled right now. <laughs> and we miss you. Um. Uh, so, yeah, he, he goes there. I wanted to break all my devices this week because of her, right? <laughs> she is like, oh, my gosh, she's terrible. I know. We've all missed Sarah. She's been MIA. We're like, girl, where are you? All right. Well, I will, I will go over. I mean, there's really not too much about the case. So, this will be a short one just because um, there's not really much out yet yeah, they're keeping it very tight lipped but i will give my theories i don't want to like i mean i really have no idea like i've looked into her as best i can but i really have like no idea what like who would do this or all i know all right so let me show you guys a picture of her first her name is uh jennifer brown 
And I believe she lives in Limerick, which is pretty close to me. And she was missing. She went missing um, the night of January. Well, you slept your you slept your life away. Well, hey, sleeping. I love sleeping. So, you hopefully you'll be better soon. Do you know how long it's going to take for it to heal? So, uh, she went missing on. All right. So she was at a. Eagles game, Philadelphia Eagles game on the third. And she didn't show up to, oh, hell yeah, I'll go to the trial. It's going to be like literally, I live five minutes from the Montgomery County Courthouse. Like I could walk there. Mute my Discord channel. Everyone's getting on and they're probably going to spam messages. Let me mute it. Oh, on my thing. All right, hold on a second, guys. Hold on one second. Oh. Are you in um uh PA, Ellie? Well, I I'll totally go. I mean, I could literally walk to the Montgomery County Courthouse. That's how close it is. Um, but if it does, um, you know, turn into something, I, sh I absolutely will. They'll let me in. Hold on a minute. Well, Ellie, you can come with me if you want to come. If you're in PA. can see Brian. And will he go to this one? I don't know if he would go to this, but all right. Sorry. Uh, so I don't hear the Discord. Noise. Can you hear them? I don't know how to do all this. You're asking too much of me. Uh, here. I just see hide me to channel. I don't know how to do it. Whatever. <laughs> We're just going to have to hear Discord noises because I can't figure it out. So, this is her. She uh, went missing on... Well, I, I don't know. I, I'm thinking maybe the night of the 3rd or the day of the 4th because around 2 p.m. she was supposed to pick her son up at the bus stop and never showed. So, and, and supposedly she was like a helicopter mom. She would never... Either a bell or a drop down there. She would never, um, you know what I mean, not be there for her kid. You know what I mean? And I think any mom um, here knows that if you got to pick your kid up at the bus stop, you're just not going to not show. You know, like, I worry. This is, if you're a mom like me, I worry even about getting late to the pickup line because my kid will start to worry if I'm not in the front of the pickup line. <laughs> yeah. I don't know anything about, like, some some channels I get notifications for, some I don't. And I don't even know why, like, which ones I do and why and whatever, you know. <laughs> I'm terrible at it. All right. So that's her. So, according to her Facebook, which I'm going to stop the screen, and then when I find it, I'm going to open it back up just so I don't, you know, expose anything on my page. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, this is a January 1st. I thought this was on the 3rd. So, she was at. All right. So, apparently, she just started a new business venture with this guy and i'm pretty sure that guy is anthony watts richardson i don't know anything about the guy all i know is that he's her new business partner and i'm thinking it might have to do with food because uh it's like they they own like a soul food restaurant or something so i don't know i'm thinking maybe it has to do with that i'm not really sure though yeah, same thumb thug. I don't either. 
But on the first, she was at an Eagles game, and this was her last post. And I believe she was maybe with this guy on the third. I forget. But anyway. Um, or he, I think he was the one who, what do you call, um, reported her missing. Yeah, unless you're Sherry Papini who didn't pick up her kids, which is crazy, and I will never understand because I will be a nervous wreck if I'm not even in the begin like the front of the car line. So I'm like, oh my gosh, my kids are gonna freak that I'm not the front of the car line, thinking that you know something's wrong. But yeah, her son was six, so almost the same age as um, my kid, and she just was excited about a new business venture. So anyway, um, she goes missing. I don't let me look up the article. I, I forget who was the last person who's seen her, but I think it was her business partner on the third. All right, so missing Montgomery County mother Jennifer Brown found dead, district attorney says. And I'll show the pictures in a minute. I just um let me show this little video. So once they couldn't find her, um they, you know, they were started a big search for her all the way until I believe two days ago. I think it was two days ago. Oh no, yesterday they found her body. It couldn't have been yesterday. It had to be two days ago. I think this article is from yesterday, but they found her two days ago. So they found her body after looking for her since the fourth. They found her body in Royersford, PA. <sighs> Let me show it to you on Google Earth. It's it's not like a desolate place, which really confused me. I was kind of shocked by this, but all right. So here's the warehouse, and she was buried over here in this corner. But like, look at the area. There's like schools, houses. Uh, a park right across the street. And like, there's like little area woods here, but no, he did it right underneath the steps of this warehouse. So there's like steps on the side and he buried her underneath the steps and a very shallow grave, which is really strange. I don't understand that. It almost feels like he like wanted to be caught. Um, I just, I'll show you the pictures cause I got Dave to go kind of close, not it close. He didn't like walk up on it. Um, he, but he got like close where you can see, um, the area. And we begin with breaking news unfolding as we speak. And... Oh, come on. Royers Ford, Montgomery County. Just as soon as we get them. Wait, where did it go? Did I hit a button? Have arrived on the All right, so see? See where that, that those see. steps are? They've begun hanging tarps to block There's a like a... Of whatever it is that is brought from here. Well, what, it was her body. What is already apparent, though, is that police... Oh, I'm sure that they have... That looks like a camera right above the door. And there's... Look, that that's a camera, too. So I'm sure they have a suspect. They've just been very, very, well, I don't know. Like, I don't even know, to be honest, because they haven't announced anything. Yeah, it, it was brave to do there. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. I, I'm sure maybe someone smelled something or thought something was weird. It's a very shallow grave. But look, there's a camera there, I think. Or that might be a light. And that looks like a camera. Unless you work there and you know they don't work or something. But, it, I mean, that would be even more obvious, right? I don't know. I just think it's a really... I, I'm i not sure, Ryan. I haven't... I Not that I could find. Hold on. Let me see. I can look and see if he has his jobs listed. But I'm pretty sure he was the one who reported her missing. Uh, 
It doesn't say. I mean, the guy does seem like a nice guy, though. He, he delivers food to the poor. and But, I mean, he's the only person that I really know that she was with recently. You know what I mean? Hey, Sabrina. So, yeah, we've had some... They said no danger to the public, but who knows? Yeah, so it's got to be somebody... Uh, connected to her in some way. Their lights. There's only one camera. It's right above the left door. Oh, okay. I mean, like, you know, I don't want to go. Oh, uh, this is the only guy I know that she was, like, involved with business-wise. But, like, the guy, I, he seems like a nice guy. He it seems like they make food. Like, they have, like, a kitchen, and they deliver it to the poor, and he, you know, he puts up a lot of nice things, so, you know, I don't want to go jump into conclusions, but how long ago did this happen? Um, or how long, how long ago what? But I don't know. I'm going to try and look more into some, you know, like, see if I can find any relation. So the guy... In April, they opened a restaurant called Birdie's Kitchen. So I'm guessing that she is in business with them. Oh, oh the web house, the warehouse is called like AMT Pumps. Uh, it, it's like a, I guess they make pumps. AMT Pump, a, either AMT or AMC Pumps. It's something, it's a pump place. And uh, she went missing January... Between January 3rd and 4th, I think the last time somebody spoke to her, and I believe it was her business partner, um, was the night of the 3rd. And then on the 4th, she never showed up to pick her son up from the bus stop. Now, I don't know what her deal is with her ex or anything like that, because she seems like she's a, like a single mom. Yeah, it says single. She's single. She's a single mom. She's a six-year-old. Um I just, I don't know where, like, but I do kind of find it weird that when she was missing, everyone was posting, looking for her, but her business partner, I didn't see any posts on his thing. Maybe I just didn't scroll down far enough, but I didn't see anything for him posting or that business or water pumps. Okay. Ellie, do you live near there? Well, shoot. If you want to go, we can meet at the, the courthouse. <laughs> hey, Ava. How you doing? So, yeah. Like, I don't really think he's suspicious. I, all I know is that he was one of the last people that, like, was with her. Um, but yeah, she went missing the third into the fourth and they said, Ridley, oh, okay, you're not far from me at all then. Not at all. I'm in like near KOP mall. So I'm not, I'm, I'm literally like not far at all. Well, damn. Well, we can meet up there if they do have a, you know. So apparently uh, a bystander discovered her body. So what I'm guessing is that um, maybe someone who worked there and they smelled something and they, were, you know, started getting suspicious. I don't know. But here's the pictures I got. Let me pull them up. So there's one just like this, but it's a little further away, but... So there's like a driveway towards the back end. There was no trespassing signs everywhere. So I would have ran right all the way up in there, but he's the better one of me. So <laughs> he he stood from the driveway. Plus it was pouring, but you can see right here. There's like a pile of like disturbed dirt, you know? And I'm guessing that's where 
I mean, that's what it looked like where they were searching in the aerial view. Uh, well, I don't know. That looks like a light, too, above the door. I don't know if that's a camera. Maybe it's like a camera slash light, but you know, it looks like those two lights that go like this. It is really, like, uh, it's just such a weird spot to me. Like, it's like, that he wanted them to find him? Hey, Lori. You know what I mean? Like, why would you put it right outside the doorway when this is like a warehouse where people work? I mean, that's just crazy to me. But yeah, right there. And then, so this is like the other side. And then you go down, like, here's like the parking lot. And then this was from the car. I took it while I was FaceTiming him. But you go down like a driveway back here and it brings you back where it happened. So that's like the entrance. But yeah, it's, it's like just really, there's one more, but it's kind of just like the same picture as the other one, but a little farther away. They don't, they haven't named a suspect yet, Risk. They haven't named anybody or anything. Um, they've actually been pretty quiet about it. Like, even, even, like, uh, friends and stuff, I haven't seen any inkling of them thinking that it may be this person or that person, you know. Yeah, why so close to the building? It's really bizarre. This should be my watermark. <laughs> True, true. He did go. He did the work. <laughs> uh, but I... I don't even know, like... Yeah, they said she wasn't even, like, completely buried. She was partially... She was partially buried, too. So, somebody must have just been walking out of that... Yeah, I'm live on the scene with fancy watermarks. We were talking about it earlier. He's like, should we go up there and I'll film you and you can be like the reporter outside, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The woods are right there. Look at this. Look. It's like they wanted her to be found. But like, look. There's like a nice little patch of woods and it's not connected to a yard. It's connected to another business. So like, why not go in there and do it? Why right under the steps where somebody would see it? It's, I don't know what to think of it. So he pulled in like this driveway and was taking pictures here. But like, look at this patch of woods. Is there, there's a driveway though, I think that goes... Oh, no, it comes out here. So, yeah, there is a patch of woods. I wonder if there's a fence there. <laughs> hey, Nate. Yeah, I wonder if there's, like, a, um, a fence there or something. But why not there? It's just, I don't. But, I mean, would somebody really be so, like, brave as to have a connection there like who would I, I don't know it's just a weird spot to pick or to think of when there's so many like like other places like you almost feel like there has to be some kind of connection in some way I lost it where is it hold on Where the hell did it go? They're based out of Ohio. The day fly drone? No, he just pulled up in the back parking lot and took pictures. I should have had him like, it said no trespassing all over. So he didn't walk in, but, and it was pouring rain, but. Should have ran in there and took pictures under the steps. <laughs> yeah, but, like, the steps aren't even, like, they, they got, like, 
they're the steps with the holes so you can see under them. It is so brazen. Like, just a coincidence bug. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I can find some connection between AMT pumps and somebody connected to her, I just would be surprised if somebody would be that. I mean, it's pretty bold to do that anyway, but it's pretty bold if somebody does have a connection with this place and did it. But there's also this other case near me. Um, I think it was in like Levittown. This woman <coughs> killed her parents and dismembered them. I think her last name was Beck. Yeah, it, it's. I would have chosen the woods, to be honest. It was pretty low density, so you could see it still, but it was a very weird location. Yeah, I just don't understand why he used that area. It's just... And obviously, they they come out these stairwells and throw their extras or supplies and stuff, so they come in and out of here. Someone from the next building? Oh, that would make sense. Like, Like having a job nearby and then being like, oh, I'll, I'll don't. It's still bold, though. Yeah, it probably smelled, too. I was thinking that, too, that they didn't notice probably, like, the first week, but then, like, they noticed a weird smell. I was a union pipe fitter for 10 years. Us and the union plumbers. You, oh, okay, so that's the company. Some lady was watching me creepily. Yeah, because she's probably like, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> Looking at creeping and stuff. I'm like, just drive in there. It's like, there's no trespassing signs everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, it's in the back right. Her footage last night. There's a camera on the top of the building. Oh, really? Let me see. Well, so you can see here, I can't tell if this is a camera or not. It looks like one of those double automatic lights that like when you walk underneath them, it just turns on. Same thing there. And then in the corner looked like those big lights. But I, I know some of these are like cameras also. So I don't know. But I, I think that's just an automatic light outside the door. But I feel like well, no, because they wouldn't have a suspect because a bystander found her. Because I thought, like, they had to have had, like, some kind of lead here. But apparently it was just a bystander. So I don't even think, like, I don't even know if they have, yeah, motion lights. That's what it looked like. She was hiding behind a wall. Maybe a woman did it. I wonder. Hmm. Well, thank goodness for dumb criminals. We can get these poor souls back to their family. Yeah, right? There's got to be. Cameras in the other place, too, I, I would think. You know what I mean? Where they could, like... Oh, let me see if I could put... No. Well, I don't know. Look at this place. It's got, like, 85 different materials as a roof. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to show you guys that, that other case real quick? The lady... Beck, I think it was. That's pretty close to me, too. I don't know if that's considered Montgomery, though. Um, I just want to see this real quick. Limerick Township week-long search for a missing mom has now shifted to a search for justice. Jennifer Brown's body was recovered in Roy's for more than two weeks after she went missing. Now, there are many questions that still remain unanswered. CBS Philadelphia spoke with Brown's family in the past 24 hours, and they asked for some privacy. Police have not revealed how Brown died, and they have not announced any arrests yet. They really didn't say anything. All they did was announce that they they found her. Yeah, Lori, so there's this, this um, woman who went missing about 20 minutes from me. And she just turned up dead. Uh, they found her. 
buried underneath some steps at a warehouse that's pretty close by. And Dave was driving through there earlier. So I had him stop and take some pictures and like of the place where they found her. If you search Jennifer Brown and search images, the some photos shows with a camera on the corner bill hoping. Oh yeah, I seen I'll show you. You can see it on Google Earth, but uh Dave was there. My hubby Dave was there earlier today, and he said that the thing on the corner was a light. Yeah, I, I the guy she was missing since January third. So, um, hold on. Let me show you the picture real quick again. So you can see this, like, un like this disturbed dirt right here. This is where she was found, right under these steps. Ooh, late night tacos and Kate this crime. That sounds very good. <laughs> very good. I could go for some tacos right now. But, yeah, um, you can see that is right here, like, very bold for someone to uh, bury someone there, in my opinion. I, I mean, could be so. Like that's what I, I would. It would be pretty crazy. Somebody had to have known this place or something, even a little bit. Maybe like know somebody who worked there or works nearby and drove past it. But yeah, he's our crime team photographer. <laughs> So here, I'll show you. Uh, on Google Earth, that looks like a camera right here. But Dave said it's one of those big lights. Oh, a bunch of cameras on the front of the building. So, yeah, they're his pics. <laughs> so he said there's a bunch of cameras here. But these are our lights. It looks like lights, uh, motion lights here, a big fat light in the corner. And then uh, motion lights above there. Yeah, it is. I mean, it is relatively isolated if no cameras are working. But look, there's like a factory there. There's a school here. Look at this. Look, the Department of Public Safety is across the street. Yeah, there's two cameras at the front. Yeah. I mean, look, the Department of Public Safety is literally across the street and a park. And there's, like, schools around here. I mean, it's it's not like... I, I guess it's pretty quiet, though, because it's, like, two factories here, and you can go in there on, like, the weekend. But he would have to know exactly where the cameras were and how to get in to avoid them between the two businesses. I mean... It's pretty bold to, to go in two businesses not without scoping them out and dump a body there. Because most businesses have cameras. I just... Like, look, this whole place, too. If there's a camera even over, like, over here, you might be able to see it. Yeah. Yeah, and digging under the stairs. I know. But yeah, exactly. It should have activated the motion lights. Can you imagine digging a hole down there and the motion lights just come on bright as shit showing exactly what you're doing? Like, I, I, I mean, if there's a camera there, he's going to be perfectly seen if those motion lights work. A dawn to dusk light. Oh, like what? Where they get the? Where it's like solar, and then they come on at night. Yeah, I mean, I I'll be surprised if there's nothing. Like if they can get, I mean, they at least would have to see him driving. Somebody's got to have a ring camera of the car they're searching for coming up and down the street. It could be emergency activated lights only are not working. If it's close to the road, no drags marks. Would somebody help if it were female? Maybe. I mean, she she's not tiny, but she's she's not like big. But still, you know, she was it would be hard to move by themselves. 
Oh, are you are you local, Andrea? Yeah, it's like 20 minutes from me. I'm by the KOP mall, so. But it does look a little creepy, like with all this. What is this, anyway? A factory? It said Hardcore Factory. T-E-I. I mean, there's a lot of, like, stuff here, though. I'm just shocked they picked this place. Like, look at all this wooded area and farms. <laughs> and you pick, like, a busy area in the middle of town. It just, it feels like there has to be... Yeah, and there's a playground, too. That's what I'm saying. There has to be some connection to this place. Like, I doubt they just randomly picked this place. But, like, yeah, there's a children's park right here. And the Department of Public Safety is right here. And there's a bunch of houses and everything. It's very cool. It's about three minutes away from you. Oh, okay. So you're really close then, Colette. So, cl Colette, do you have any theories on, like, have you heard anything? Honestly, I haven't, like, the police have been very tight-lipped. The only person that I've heard about is that she had a new business venture with that guy, and that's it. But he doesn't even seem, like, he doesn't seem, like, sus to me, you know what I mean? He's not one of them guys where I, like, look at his page and I'm like, ooh, it's this guy, you know? He seems like a decent dude, so... I mean, he's the only person that I really could have looked into, so. Is there only... Oh, he wasn't lying. I'm getting probably a bunch of stuff from other discords. Uh, so, there's this way in. I mean, I would imagine he would have had to come through here. Or through here. And he went through the little woods here. Because there's cameras here. But no, there's there's definitely definitely other ways to go in. So like Dave came up into this driveway and took pictures there. Uh, maybe the playground could be a connection, especially if the last person seen is involved. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, just or maybe like the public safety. I wonder where. Hold on a second. Let me search something before I share this. Where is that that restaurant located? <coughs> Sixty Main Street, Spring City. How far is that from? Me? So that, that business venture that she, oh, that's, that's not too far. All right. So that business venture that she was involved in is showing up that it's right here. I mean, that's not far at all. That's just like a ride over the bridge. And a left. I mean, that's pretty close to their business thing. Supposedly that, like, Birdie's Kitchen or whatever. Oh, yeah. I know. That the police definitely, they're keeping a tight lip for some reason. Phoenix? Oh, it's, it's closed. So is that closed, that bridge? Is that what you're talking about, this one? Maybe she like stopped at that at the the um their job or whatever the place that they're opening. That doesn't oh it is that one yeah, and then somebody snatched her up and just he lies on the interview with her that they were opening it end of January. I know the lead detective, he hasn't told me much, but he did say they know who it is and they're trying to gather some more evidence. 
He's working around the clock along with six other detectives. Gotcha. So they can't they can't arrest him yet because um, they don't have enough, which is smart. And I hate when people rush people, like when they rush law enforcement to make arrests when they're not ready yet. So, I mean, that's good that, you know. I live on Decap Street, Norristown, and drove there today, and they were on the scene. Oh, really? Well, you live so close to me, then. I live, I'm, I'm right over the bridge in Bridgeport. He lies on the interview at the end of January. So, they're not opening it, then? The lease was terminated in December. Oh, it closed. So, he lied about that? That's weird. Why lie about that? Was he lying to her? Well, all right. So here, is it possible that he lied to her to get her to put up money? And then, um, maybe she started to find out that, uh, Oh, he is, he is a criminal case. Interesting. Well, girl, email me. <laughs> girl, send my email. Well, that's a crazy angle. Like, what if he got her to invest, right? And then convinced her that they were opening, you know, this... Really... They had a GoFundMe for opening the restaurant, and I believe he took all the money. No way. So this sounds shady. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, that would make a lot of sense. What if she, like, you know, because look how close it is. I mean, look, that's supposedly, what if she, like, went there to meet him or something? Like, oh, you know, let's go meet at the restaurant, uh, like, and he was like, yeah, meet me there. And then he knew that things were going to, like, blow up in his face. So he panicked since their lease is up. Because look how close it is. I mean, literally, that's, like, that's close. Like, that's really close. That's wild. And and didn't wasn't he the one who reported her missing? I'm pretty sure I heard that he was the one who reported her missing and and said something like, Oh, I picked I picked um picked her son up at the bus stop. Let me search him and see if I can find his interviews. Now I'm gonna be Interviewed him and he started freaking out. Hey, Melissa Jade. What interview was this? With who? Deanna Durante. Oh, they already got a page for him. Who is Antonio Watts Richardson? Last person to see Jennifer Brown alive. Denies involvement in her death. A tragic incident unfolded. Jennifer Brown, missing nearly two weeks, being partially buried in a shallow grave. Police appear to be coming through a wooded area in the warehouse. People just coming in. Here's the picture. It's tw This is 20 minutes from me. And if you haven't seen this, um, I had Dave stop at the place where they found her body. And her. see this disturbed dirt right here? Um, that is where they found her body underneath the steps which is just such a bizarre uh, place to put a body, in my opinion. But, so, uh, I mean, he's the only guy who's really been, like, out there in the media, I will say. So it's kind of hard not to, like, look at this guy. Hey, that girl. Um. 
But all right, so here here's what it sounds like. She got into a new that she was excited about a new business venture with this guy. They supposedly had a GoFundMe to open up the business. Someone said he may or you know, Christina said he may have taken all the money from the GoFundMe. Um somebody interviewed him and said or he said she asked when are you opening the business because this was the new business venture they were doing together and he said at the end of january but she i guess had already looked into this um restaurant and the lease was up in um Oh, it might not let you post a link. Here, email it to me, Christina. Can you email it to me? Ah, oh, shoot. Hold on, let me rewrite it. I accidentally hit enter. So, hey, TF. So, it sounds like that maybe she invested a lot of money into this business venture, uh, thinking that, you know, it was whatever. And then... And this is just me speculating, I'm just speculating. And there really was no business venture. Like it, it, he was lying to get money out of her and she may have started catching on because <clears throat> uh, even the reporter called him out and said that the lease was up. So, um, oh, thank you, Melissa. <laughs> I just seen that. <laughs> thank you. Just a little bit of makeup, though. I don't look this pretty all the time. But here's the business right here. This is supposedly where it's called Birdie's Kitchen. They were supposed to own this restaurant. So he says, oh, yeah, we're open in January. And the reporter's like, well, you're lying because the lease was up in December. So anyway, <clears throat> what if, just speculating here, she says, hey, I want to, you know, go check out the business. Uh, I want to go there. And now here the lease is up in December. So maybe he showed it to her in December and blah, blah, blah. Showed her all the things. And then now it's up. She wanted to go check things out as a rightful business partner. And he maybe said, oh, go meet me there. And panicked and did something out of fear that she, he was going to get caught scamming her. Because look, here's the restaurant, right? And look at this. This is where she was found. That is super freaking close. I mean, that's like... And it was so poorly... It's literally a right, a left, right, and it's right there. <laughs> Thanks, Nate. Yeah, it's such a stupid place to put her to. I just can't believe they would be that stupid. Put her there. Like, this is where he buried her. Under a set of stairs on the side of, the, of a building. Literally. I'm going to have to, like, drive up here one day. Or if y'all ladies in chat want to take a little road trip and go investigate sounds like he might be a scammy scammer i'm just speculating here i mean this is the only guy that they've talked about and um i didn't hear i think all her stuff was at her house well that's weird too though because if she was going to meet him she would have left with her stuff all right, all right, let me pull it up. They don't know cause of, they haven't announced any of that stuff yet. Like, they haven't, they've been very tight lipped. But uh, Christina in chat says she knows the lead investigator, and they said they know who it is, but they. Phoenix Hill rent 23 and 724. That lease was terminated December 22 due to his arrest that he didn't turn himself in. Ah. Until two days after she went missing. So he had to turn himself in. Oh, shit.
All right, let me pull this over. So he had to turn himself in for something else, and he turned himself in two days after she went missing? All right, Watts had Birdie's Kitchen in Spring City during COVID till summer. He closed there saying landlord issues. The new business was to be open at Old Fisherman's Restaurant. And fe oh, okay. That lease was terminated due to his... Okay. I don't think she went missing from the game either. She was seen after that. The game was on the first... Hey, Cheryl, yeah, it's a, new, it's a new case, and it's 20 minutes from me, so I can go to the courthouse. The court, Like, the courthouse, to me, is, like, five minutes away, literally, so when this all breaks, uh, I can keep up with it. But let me put this interview on real quick. It's been a week since anybody has seen Jennifer. Most importantly, they say she would never leave her son. Also, her friends say she was very excited about a business venture, a restaurant. Well, let me just say, he might know where that place is because it's so close to his old, their old restaurant. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that, there, there could be a connection there because of the proximity, which is so stupid. Like, why this, this guy is the, the dumbest criminal ever. But if it is him, but like maybe he's arrested for harassment and threats of shooting someone. <gasps> wow. Wow. You know what? I went to look him up tonight too, like right before I started the live, but uh, there were so many people with the same name. I didn't have time to like come through, come through it yet, but I will get his record and. Maybe the Parker connection. He's kids nine and under. Well, I, I think just the closest in proximity to where their old restaurant is, that that is possibly a connection, too. I mean, it's literally like a, block, a few blocks away. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, was this just her friend? Or do you guys know if this was just her friend or um, like a lover? I think she was just friends with him but but starting to think maybe you know he promised her things and she gave him money and and he was scamming her you know that her business partner says the hope was to open sometime this month and we've learned that police are taking a look at that venture oh he's married okay it's been a dream friends say to operate a You guys can hear that, right? I wasn't sure if I had, um, if I hit the button. Can you guys hear it? He's married. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, she had single, and it doesn't really seem like... I think he even said he, like, got her kid from the bus stop or something like that. I don't know. Okay. It's muted? Oh, all right. Let me... Let me do this again. I'm going to just restart it. Jennifer, most importantly, they say she would never leave her son. Also, her friends say she was very excited about a business venture, a restaurant that her business partner says the hope was to open sometime this month. And we've learned that police are taking a look at that venture. Go Eagles, right? Let's do it. Come on, birds. We got this. It's been a dream, friends say, to operate a restaurant. And Jennifer Brown, they say, has been working to make it a reality. The Montgomery County mom has a culinary background. She and her partner spent the summer serving up items from Birdie's Kitchen at a Roarsford Festival, all to prepare for the business that was set to open soon. Her partner in opening that dining spot, Blair Watts, who says he last saw his friend one week ago today. So you last saw her Tuesday morning, or did you see her Tuesday night? Tuesday when you picked afternoon. So you last saw her Tuesday afternoon, and you took her son home with you? Yes, she was going through a lot of stress with her, her family, her work, and stress with her kids. Okay, so it was normal for you to have him, so she didn't call and say goodnight or anything to Tuesday no, night. He spent her, her, um, her mother knew that. Not I don't know the, the rest of her family. Sideline pass. 
Watts says he has no idea where Jennifer would go. So did he send her kid off to school? I'm confused. So, sorry, meet and gushers. <laughs> he took her kid and sent her kid to school, and she was supposed to pick him up and didn't. So people, there's someone in the group saying, in one of the groups saying that he's a nice guy, and that her ex is continuing to stalk her and come in contact with her while she blocked him and attempted to escape an abusive relationship. Well, that, that's another angle. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I, that is, that is sus for sure that, like, there was business stuff going on. Sorry, I'm probably make all, like, like, that is sus, but I, I don't know, like, I guess, you know, looking into her ex is definitely, she has a post from her page, okay, so yeah, that's definitely, but it, it definitely is sus that, like, it, it seems maybe that business thing, he took him to school, okay. Oh, if she went out for exercise alone, or if she had plans to see anyone else that day, and he says he didn't see Jennifer again. I'm assuming that out of all the people that, in that area, I'm the last person to see her, or whatever the damn situation is, but I have not, I have nothing to do with anything with her missing. NBC10 has learned police have been all over the area, including to that dining spot Watts spent the summer advertising as the new business venture and talking to the current owners of the building. Those owners tell us they informed Watts in December he wouldn't be getting a lease. Well, we went to the where the new restaurant's supposed to be, and it mm -hmm. did not look like any restaurant could be there ever. Because they thought I had legal troubles because I had a neighbor, a neighbor issue when I lived in Phoenixville. We've learned that dispute was Watts threatening to shoot a former neighbor. Back in November, he turned himself into a Chester County judge two days after he last saw Jennifer and was released without posting any bail. I want to get all this cleared up. As to police and Jennifer's family, again, they've increased their reward to $15,000. Late today, the district attorney of Montgomery County released a statement saying that there is not a lot he can say about this case at this point. He did say that there have been no credible sightings of Jennifer, and he is urging anyone with information to call police. Reporting live in Limerick, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News. Yeah, I don't know. That's a little weird. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, I have to, like, know a little bit more about her ex to, you know, to, like, rule him out or, you know, I I'm going to have to look into him, too. But that that is a little weird. It's definitely weird. Gives me weird vibes. All right, so he says he took her eight-year-old son to his house for a sleepover that night. I put Noah on the bus the next day. And that she never showed up. Does anyone know the name of her ex? Let me look. Let me see if I can find it. Sorry, I'm probably making all kinds of noise because I'm eating gushers. <laughs> he went to the vigil and was nasty and vulgar there? No. Wait, the ex or the business partner? What did he do with the vigil? Oh, my goodness. All right, let me scroll back. January 2022. Oh, last year. Let me go all the way back. Okay. So, oh no, 
they pulled the community sites pulled them. He was that he was that bad at the vigil. Like, was he cursing and being like nasty? Oh my god. All right, so this is January 13th. This is last year, uh, last year in January, so a whole year ago. Uh, when your ex randomly starts finding ways to reach out to you, even though you have them blocked, you can't harass me anymore. I'm over you. You don't miss me. You must need me. Pathetic, block, narcissist, narcissistic, abuse awareness, narcissistic, abuse, survivor, dead to me. Oh, her kid is adorable. I should probably have blocked this stuff out, but... Does she have an older son? She has an older son, too? Like, is that her? Oh, yeah. That's a sin. That looks good. Gosh, that was probably, I think I was there. Sorry, I'm being nosy. No. Oh. Poor baby. That's a sin. She's got two kids. <laughs> Trying to see. She doesn't really have her ex like tagged in anything though. Is that him? Uh, I'm down. Oh, yeah, somebody. <laughs> William Brown, okay. Hold on, let me... Oh, she hasn't blocked, right? So, I don't know. Is it the guy in Virginia? I do kind of like find it weird that her business partner didn't post like it didn't look like he posted anything for uh everyone went to bed. <laughs> Dave's still up, I think. I don't know what he's doing. Probably playing uh Assassin's Creed. It's gotta be this guy from from Virginia, I think. I mean, the last post, he doesn't really have anything. I don't know. I'll have to sit and go through this, but I don't really. Is he, does he live in? I found a, oh, this might, is this, is her son? Her son's Jordan, though. Is her ex? Um, I don't think it's this guy. I don't know. It might be. Brown. I'm gonna just see if there's any other uh sorry. <laughs> Isn't the VA guy a boy? Yeah, the VA guy look does look a little young. Her son. Well I if her son I don't know if her son lives in Virginia or not, but I found a William Brown that was in Virginia, so I thought maybe that was his dad. The oldest son's Jordan, I think. I think his name is Jordan. But I found a William Brown in Virginia, so I was like, oh, maybe that's the guy. But I, I think 
her son's Facebook said Jordan Laramie. <laughs> well, we'll definitely have to keep up with this. I don't really know. I'm going to have to like dive. So I'm not kind of just diving on here because it's going to take me a while to look through stuff. But uh, I, I, I think following the money is probably a good idea. And that will, is probably a good lead, in my opinion. That I don't really know anything about the X, but I'm going to look into and see if I can find anything. Okay, he's 20 and lives with her family in Virginia. So the guy lives close by them. Well, uh, I'll find him. If you guys have anything, like links or anything, or you found people, my emails in my about section uh, feel free to email me, but I'm going to stay up on top of this and keep uh, looking into stuff. But I am going to end it because... Oh, wait. You know what? Before I end it, I'm going to just tell you about this other lady real quick. So there's another lady nearby, and... Um, ah, in Montgomery County. So here's another one. Um... Hey, crazy mama. Thank you. Uh, she lives in Montgomery County, where I live. And she's facing charges on the murder of both of her parents. Her name is Verity Beck. She's 49. She killed her 73-year-old dad and mom and 72-year-old mom in their Jenkintown home on Tuesday. Her brother arrived home at the earlier at the home earlier in the night and discovered what believed to be a body under a blanket. According to a criminal complaint, Verity Beck's brother spoke with his sister who lived with her parents. Police says Verity Beck told her brother that things at home had been bad. The brother went back to his own home and called 911. According to WPBI, when officers entered the home, they asked Verity Beck, where are your parents? And she responded, they are dead. There, was, there were signs of extreme trauma present, said Montgomery County District Attorney Kevin Steele. I don't know if they mean with her. Oh, yes. Thank you, Christina. Yeah, if you get anything, email me and um, let me know. Thank you for coming. All these new locals, I'm so happy you guys came today. Um yeah, I'm just going to go over this roof. Yeah, with a chainsaw. According to Steele, a chainsaw was located near their bodies. And they were in various stages of, uh, you know, that. I don't want to say the word because I feel like the more gruesome I get, the more YouTube doesn't like it. Uh, the coroner said both victims were killed after being shot in the head. And that the couple had likely been dead since January 7th. Couple son said he had been texting with his parents over the last week, but authorities believe Verity Beck was the one replying to his messages. The motive behind the killings was not immediately clear. Let me show you this chick. It is really strange. Like, I don't know what they mean by trauma. Like, can a 72 year old, like, how could she be traumatized? Her parents were old. You know what I mean? I. I'm trying to show a picture of her. There she is. Let me share it. It's hard to see. It's a small. Let me see if that's her. She was 50 years old. Oh, okay. I was like, trauma, like, because he said there was some trauma present. So I was like, they mean like with her? But yeah, that makes sense. Trauma to the bodies. It's so weird. Wonder like why. She did that. Body parts were found in, oh my gosh, that's disgusting, in trash cans. Ugh. 
That's sick. Like, what? I mean, they haven't really talked that much about it besides she, you know, her brother found her, but I, I mean, I guess it's kind of like an open and shut case besides knowing what her uh, motive was, but yeah, we'll definitely keep up with, oh, I have the GoFundMe for, uh, let me share that real quick, for Jennifer Brown, in case anyone wants to donate, I messaged, um, her friend and asked it if it was okay if I shared it and she gave me the link. So, um, copy link. So, let me just share that real quick before I go. I imagine that the money now will go towards her um, funeral and probably to her kids, but ugh, that's gross. Oh, why is it coming as a, hold on, let me just type it out because it's coming as like a Facebook link. GoFundMe.me slash three let me see. Right? I don't either, Linda. I don't like did that work? As a link? Or do I have to write it as like... Oh, it's GoFund.me. No wonder. Okay, hold on. I gotta do it again. Sorry. Alright, try that. I don't know. I have to put the HTTP in front of it. Probably won't work this way either. <laughs> All right, hold on. I got it. I got this. Ah, that should work. If that doesn't work, yes. <laughs> I am missing people with confusing stories. How are you? I'm about to end it, but I hope you're well, too. Thank you for stopping by. And how cool was it that I had a bunch of locals near me in this year tonight? Thank you guys for coming. All the new people, I hope you'll come back. And um, feel free, if anyone has any news, shoot me an email. And, you know, I'll, I will. Okay, so there should be a button. Under the video, are you you're on yeah on YouTube that says subscribe. You see the button, you click that, and then there's a little bell next to it. If you click the bell, you can select all, and it'll notify you every time I go live. Well, it should. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt, but hopefully, uh, it does. It'll be like on like right under the video on your right subscribe button. You can also find me on uh, Facebook too. But yeah, if you guys um, have any info, email me and I'll keep up. I might even drive out there and I can take some pictures and I will definitely go to the courthouse because it's fi like five minutes from me. So when all of this breaks, we can definitely stay on top of this case. You're going to have another game night. We could do it this weekend. We'll have another game night. It was a lot of fun. If anyone wants to have another game night, we can do it this weekend. Like, I can present a case. Then after the case, we could do a little game night. Like, Friday, maybe. Well, if y'all want to do game night, we could shoot for Friday night. It was a lot of fun. If you watch my video, I think it was like two videos ago for Jen's birthday. We had a game night. <laughs> It's a fun game for sure. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off. But, yeah, we'll keep up with this. And if you guys hear anything, let me know. And when this stuff goes to court, I can walk over there and be there. So It's like literally five minutes. I could walk there. That's how close. I will, I'll take a video if I go out there. Uh, maybe I'll drive up this weekend. And um, actually, I'll, I'll try and actually, like, walk up on there as long as... 
I feel like I want to go the weekend because I don't want to like walk up on anybody doing their job. You know what I mean? So maybe on the weekend when they're off, you and Dave can go up there and I'll film it and actually like go on the property and sneak on there. And hopefully I don't get arrested, but I will do my best to go up there and, and get like a nice, uh, you know, view of everything. So I, I like having visuals. It just That's just how I am. The more I see, the better, you know, <laughs> I like it. So yeah, I will. I'll be careful. But I, I, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it on a weekend when no one's there. But I'll definitely check it out. See if I have time to go up there. I will. Or if Dave's up there this week at all. Oh, tomorrow's Friday. So he probably won't be there tomorrow. Um, I'll try for like Saturday going up there. Well, thank you, everyone. I'll talk to y'all later. See you. What's today? Today's Thursday. I'll probably be back tomorrow then. Tomorrow's Friday night. Yeah, we can have a game night tomorrow night if you want. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. All right. Good night, y'all.